So what we're doing today is I have to redo this piece on the camper, the support piece for the hitch. Main hitch is here. Goes back that way about five more feet. And so the problem is, is that with the uh, hitch that I have, the weight distribution hitch that I have, when the arms come back, they're at a really steep angle and uh, they don't actually fit because of this mount here for the old tongue jack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off here, cut it off back there, and then change the angle. So that way um, I can use that weight distribution hitch. And uh, as you can imagine, having an entire camper on the tongue of the trailer. So there's no weight back here. All the weight's right here. And we've got just that little bit of hitch right there. So all that weight is right on the suspension of my truck. So I would just assume get that up a little bit. So I've got this mocked up. You can see this is why that I'm uh, I'm doing all this nonsense. And it probably doesn't look like there's a ton of difference in the angles. So what we'll do is we'll mark that, cut it, grind the galvanization off right there so I can weld it without uh, poisoning myself. Do the same on the other side, mark it, cut it, weld it, and then uh, we'll go from there. say that come out all right so let's um, grind that off a little bit we'll match the outside cut that piece to the proper angle and length and then once we do that we can start welding which is the most fun part let's be honest all right so now I have some lines marked out I've got one right here and then I've got some other lines drawn here and that's kind of the same idea. We're gonna cut that off because it doesn't need to be any longer than this. 
and we've got that other angle in there to just to try to make it look a little bit nicer and then there's another angle on the top uh, right here and that'll match the the angle of the the uh, straight part going back on the frame so we're gonna cut all of those with the plasma cutter and see if we can make it look halfway decent without grinding it for four hours but I've got an idea we're gonna do a little bit of grinding to make it look kind of nice let's watch it and find out together Two hours later. All right, here we go. So we've got a little bit of a taper there. Not perfect. Not too bad. Taper there. Pretty okay. If I just take and... Well, we'll get it there. And on this side, you've got a few different angles going on. And uh, so we'll weld that in. Let's ground it a little better.
They're not perfect welds, but kind of okay. Let's see if we can do any better over here. Because, I mean, when you get that for comparison, whatever you do right there has to be better. Those are bad looking welds. So we're gonna grind them off and do them again. Okay, so we've got half of it done. Here we are the next day. Um, see the old side on the right and the new side on the left. And then I cut a taper. I'll do the same thing here. I probably could have tapered that back a little bit more, but I just wanted a little bit to kind of... And uh, it hasn't fallen apart yet, so I think I'm good, but it looks like crap, so I need to fix it.
Just some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite So here's the finished product, more or less. Uh, I ran out of paint, so I have to get some of that. But um, the metalwork and welding is all done, at least for now. Uh, so we have this uh, strut running back, a little bit of a brace from the jack to the tongue support. Same thing on this side. See our uh, leveling jacks. Uh, kick back there that's the travel position and then we have our tongue jack here harbor freight special with a little bit of modification there in the middle uh, this is stainless and this is not so we'll have to get some paint on that but uh, for now I think it came out pretty okay um, hopefully that will help it travel down the road a little bit better I'll have to double check the lights because when I was plasma cutting the old bumper off I kind of remembered halfway through, like, oh, there's wires right there. So let's hope those are still intact, and if not, we'll just uh, pull some new ones. So anyways, a little bit of paint, and we'll be ready to camp for next year. That's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.